Well, after the Olympics, being the second gold medal ever for my country has been crazy. Uh, my life has changed a lot. I had a lot of opportunities. I've been in so many places with so many people. I have changed so many lives now, working with my foundation just to help people. It's a hectic life. I don't have time for me, but it's, it's good for me and for my sport, for my country, so I'm proud of it. Having the Olympics for the first time here in South America is amazing. Like being here in Brazil, even if it's not my language, not my culture, it feels like I'm home. It's really close, people are super warm, and they're happy that we are here. I'm sure like, even if I'm Colombian, but the Brazilians will shoot for us. Being here in Rio is amazing, like seeing the city, feeling all the atmosphere that's coming for the Olympics next year. The track is looking really good. This city has a magic, it's magical. We just come here and just feel like we're almost there, we're almost in the Olympics, it's really cool to be here. When I started BMX, I was also a gymnast. When the BMX got into the Olympics, I said, I'm going for gold there. We just train for gold. Or oh, like eight, nine for gymnastics, and then like 15 for really being involved in the Olympics with BMX. Hello, I'm Mariana Pajon, I'm coming. I travel a lot in the season because I'm racing all the UCI rounds for the Olympics, racing the Supercross season and racing also the US Nationals. I'm racing the Latin American rounds, racing the Nationals in Colombia, also racing the Continental rounds. So I'm traveling a lot, I have a lot of miles now. So before a race, I'm super focused. I'm just trying to visualize the track, just trying to do laps in my mind, trying to do the perfect lap. So every time I race, I race with something different. I race with different color socks. Once I went to the track with different colors and I won my first 18 and under cruiser. I race like this every time, different color socks and gloves. Not because I feel lucky, it's because I feel different on the track. So I was born into a family of sports. My dad was a car racer. My mom also, she was the national champion in horse jumping. I started riding my bike when I was three. When I was four, I was already racing the MX, and I just love it. At the same time, well, my mom was really scared because I was doing this. She made me do gymnastics. I did it for five years, and my dad wanted me to do go-karts, so I raced go-karts too for a long time, but BMX was my passion. I have almost win everything that I can, but people like ask me, you just won everything in your sport, so why are you just traveling and racing again? I just tell them I'm doing what I love. I'm super relaxed before a race. I can always sleep really good the day before, and I'm super happy before the race when I have a really hard track to race. I know it's gonna be good for me. I love winning, so I prepare to win every time. I have two tattoos. I did this one on 2010 before the Olympic qualifying. It was my contract that I wanted to do, that I wanted to be there and not just be there, but win it. This day is beyond gold. I want to improve what I did before. I just want to let a legacy of my country and I'm being an example and not just being the gold medalist. <laughs>